This is Ruby Rose, OnlyFans model, whatever. I, I don't know the exact details of if she does things outside of OnlyFans. A lot of you guys already know my thoughts on OnlyFans girls to me. I think it's a lot of degeneracy. I think a lot of it is just pure evil to the world. I'm going to be completely honest. I've made it complete entire videos but there's this whole thing going on about this guy being like her number one fan or whatever being the number one fan whatever giving her like almost 60k on a single month and to me again i believe that if you're a man i don't care how rich you are as a man if you have if you're paying for someone's only fans then to me you have to start questioning a lot of what's going on in your life so that's what happened i was gonna make its own video but i know i'm a little late but kind of want to react to this video from Jamal. i do not do a podcast uh, ufc event i, I don't do anything <laughs> it's um i do not do a podcast ufc event i don't do anything without using i'm not giving joe rogan oh. free sponsor. so recently i switched from my old wallet to an extra wallet and managing my debit cards, credit cards, and cash has never been easier. My wallet used to be something I would say a little bit flashy. I got the leather wallet, any style of wallet. I also wanted to show off. Since we are in the I do want to give Jamari a big shout out because I think he's one of the best. He's one of the better commentary channels, I think. Uh, yo, what's up, Cam the Conquer? What's up, Anthony Belcher? How, how y'all doing? Hello, oh hell no, John Tron Sexes. Hey, look, yeah, I am, bro. Yeah, I am. Women. Stay in your lane. I'm just kidding. But but no, my thoughts on OnlyFans, again, making it very clear. I do not support OnlyFans. I don't support any kind of uh, sex work. And I believe that not only are you defying God, but you're also defying your own father. And to me as a man, if you want to get in a relationship with me, to me, if you can't respect your, your dad and especially God, then I don't I I I don't know how you'll be able to respect me and i believe in every relationship there has to be some kind of respect but let's watch a little more about here's the link in the video. pins comment you're a super pretty individuals on this channel that i would consider to be down bad simps you're super pretty <laughs> you're super short uh but recently I a man i remember seeing that video bro nah i think one of the worst things and i i know how this feels i'm literally five six all right but one of the worst feelings you can get as a man as a girl calling out one of your insecurities and especially i think with height because it's weird men are very self-conscious about height i've learned to not be very conscious about it but that's just me then again i'm also a psychopath and came forward to take the title as the most down bad of all time yes skippy you somehow have been dethroned and he's down astronomically not only because of the financial implications of his choices which range up to nearly one hundred thousand dollars it's also about him being a diabolical creep it really all started when a woman named Ruby Rose dropped this tweet on the timeline where she announced that she had met up with her number one fan from OF. I just know this room smelled crazy. For those of you who aren't aware, Ruby is a model and female artist, but the main way she makes money is the shekels these clowns on OF are shelling out to her every single month. And this guy just happens to be the worst case on this platform. Wait, did they say female artist? So is she like a musician? I actually really don't know who Ruby Rose is outside of OnlyFans stalker thing. I really, I'm being completely honest. In his bio, he claims to be some sort of crypto whale looking for a queen, which somehow makes things much worse. For one, this is a horrible place to find a queen. And for two, being a crypto bro or NFT guy is not something to brag about in 2023. If only they'd all gotten together in that blinding room that day. Regardless, at the time they met, he had already spent over $63,000 trying to get her virtual attention. That's like a full scholarship at a decent college. You could afford a very nice car for that price. A huge down payment on a home. Like these guys are worse than those men who do the mail. I forgot to say this, but chat, let me know if anything goes wrong. Like if audio or visual or whatever goes wrong, let me know. Or the bride thing, or even the ones who talk to some dude behind a MacBook posing as a Russian woman. And the most hilarious part to me has to be the fact that he didn't even get to put his arm around her in the photo with his musty ass. 63,000 smackaroos, and I don't even get a handful? Oh no, no. At the end of the day, no matter how much money these lunatics are spending to line these girls' pockets, there's no way they don't rue the day that they could eventually meet up with them in person. I got my phone here, let me just get it ready here. Yeah, this is one of the problems. It's like, you have these guys... Who, there's things that you can improve about yourself. There's always something you can improve about yourself. The problem I have with OnlyFans, is what it feels like a lot of times, is it's a bunch of loser dudes who never have had girlfriends, have never made contact with the moment. And what it feels like a lot of times is that they almost compensate with that by finding a pretty girl who's talking to them in some form of capacity and they feel some per personal relationship. So it ends up almost being like they're taking away their virginity just without contact. And it's like you see these dudes... 
Because I think anyone, if they truly work for it, they can at least improve what they look like. Like for this guy, main thing, lose weight. Same thing applies for me, okay? I'm I can't be a hypocrite. Although I lost a lot of a lot of weight during the summer, so I give myself credit for that. But this guy, I genuinely believe that he could lose a lot of weight. Shave your head. Shave your head. And I think immediately he'd look a lot more attractive. And by the way, when I say lose weight, you don't have to have like a six pack abs or whatever. It's like easily you could just lose this gut, be a little toned, a, a bit toned. You don't have to be too ripped or whatever. Shave your head because no one wants to see this horrible, this horrible balding. Like it looks like Moses just like came in, split the Red Sea. That's what it looks like, bro. No one wants to see that. And that's what it feels like. It's like it's a bunch of guys who instead of using that money to invest in gym equipment, maybe invest in an actual gym membership, whatever, they invested on women who don't care about them. And then when they go meet them, those girls don't even care about them at all, which I would do the same, too. And by the way, I think the bigger problem when it comes to OnlyFans is not just the women who do OnlyFans. The bigger problem is the desperate men who instead of doing what you need to do to take care of yourself instead it's let me cope by giving my money to some bitch who don't even know my name bro don't know my name so it's like and i'm saying this because it's true that's that's why to me only fans and and corn that's the best way i can say any type of sex work is incredibly dangerous i saw some people being like oh you don't support sex work that's bad you know women are bad i don't care to me i think it's evil either to pay for OnlyFans or to do OnlyFans. Either way, you're just producing wickedness into the world. That's what I believe. How's it going, fam? I miss you guys. You look great as always, oh, Caitlin. Thanks. Thank you so much. Right, you know what? Uh, you, you, somebody told me that if you and I would see each other in person twice this year, I would have said they were probably loony in the That's head. That's crazy. But, uh, but I'm you know what I'd feel if I'm this girl? The way I would feel is, this guy smells crusty, doesn't look very attractive. And I'm not saying this to be mean, by the way. I'm saying this because this is something every man needs to listen to. Men need to be honest with themselves. It's what makes men strong. Enough with this toxic masculinity BS, you know, patriarchy. Duh, 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 duh. Enough with this. Men need to hold themselves accountable because that is the only way we can be productive in society. We as men, we are the leaders. We're the providers of society. We got to hold ourselves accountable. And if I had a homie that looked like this... I'm going to be laughing at him. Bullying is okay. Bullying is based. Bullying is based. I don't I, I don't know. In 2023, you can't say, that, oh, no, my feelings. No. In, in 2023, bullying is actually a good thing. It's a good thing. Just that people are too sensitive to it. So there's that. I'm telling you, man. I guess it just worked out that way, you know? Yeah. All right. Take care, everybody. <laughs> you have a great day, Caitlin. All Thank right. you so much. Bye. Bye. Got the hand sanitizer. I would say it's fair to guess that he could be stalking her. His <laughs> shirt even says, sanitizer. if I die, delete my browser history. Like, what the f*** is that? Seems like a good way to end up on a list with a black SUV parked outside of your house. And our suspicions of this man being crazy were confirmed by these alleged text messages he sent to her after they met up. She even has his number saved in her phone as Brian Weirdo F Fan, and he asks why she's not answering his messages, saying why don't you love me like I love you after investing so much money in this parasocial relationship. Like this dude is on some stan shit. He goes on to say that he wants to be her king and that he would give her anything she could ever ask for, even going as far as to say they could be in a one-sided I would do anything for you. I would fly anywhere to be with you. All that I can ever think of is you. There is not a single other person in the world as perfect as you are. You could be my queen. I, I'd be your king. <laughs> I, would, I would give you anything you could ever wish for. We can even have a one-sided open-end relationship where you can do whatever you want as long as I know that at the end of the day, you come home to me and are only with me. I promise I will treat you better than anyone, Ruby. Love you with all of of my heart i've never felt this way oh my God. open relationship as long as she sticks by his side when she comes home at night i have never felt this way about anyone i want to marry you i want to have a family with you i want to only be with you and would give up and quit everything just for you like little bro she don't even know you you are in a relationship with your phone screen my boy the text goes on to detail his fantasy life of spoiling her with his bitcoin wallet saying that she's all he can ever think of every waking moment of his sad existence you were on my mind all day every day thinking of how you smelled in the hotel lobby when i first saw you it's also suspicious to me how he ran into her in a hotel lobby where she was likely staying like, I really do wonder how long he was trying to track her down. And after sending her countless... I think it's obvious that he stalked her there. I think it's obvious. If you're spending 60k on a girl that you've yet to meet, if you have the money to do that, first of all, I think it shows you that... that... 
Uh, you probably also have the money to hire a private investigator, find a way to get her address. But there's one thing I kind of wanted to point out. This dude doesn't look all that ugly. Like, not on some no homo. I, this isn't sus, no zestiness. But being completely honest, this guy isn't all that un- unattractive. Like, if I saw him in person, I think maybe he's been married at before or whatever. But, like, to be that desperate where you're dropping 60K. First of all, if, if you're able to drop 60K, either either you're spending money where you don't need to or you're just straight up rich and we don't know it. For all we know, this guy's balling. If you have that much money, you know women like money, right? Like, you can just go to a club or something, find a, a random broad. And then, boom, just back of your car, just, mm, 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 mm. I'm just kidding, but, but definitely followed her. I just don't know why, like, what the heck's the point of it all? Like, you know, like her down, like she's attractive, but like, why would I spend 60 K on her? And after sending her why countless text messages with some of them her? being extremely aggressive, how dare you not answer me? I see you actively on your Instagram story and you have not answered me once. You are making me very mad. I've treated you like a... <laughs> Uh, this reminds me of Andrew <laughs> earlier in the chat. Princess, and you won't even take the time to respond to me. I will not tolerate this. Like, the phone number is about to be disconnected, buddy. And here is where he somehow takes this to an even worse level. Firstly, he continues to run up the OF bill in the midst of her ghosting oh, okay. him. Well, let me see. Subscribe. One month. Recent. 91,000. Oh, my. I even spent 30K more on you since we met because I thought we had something genuine and real. Okay. Spending an additional 30k the day after they met, he writes her a very long poem saying that he wants to be her sissy boy who she bosses around. Oh. Crap, we got another app, bro. What the heck? Don't worry, it's okay. Well, he app. wears, and I quote, a sissy made outfit. I have an obsession with you since the day I first saw you on Instagram. Ever since that day, I've made it my life mission to one day have a chance to see you. Every day, watching your stories, seeing your amazing life and vibrant, glowing smile as you travel the world. He then claims he will send her $400,000 in Bitcoin for one single response, compares their love to a Disney fairy tale, says he told his family about her on Thanksgiving, and then in his grand finale, sends her a tattoo he got of her face on the back of his right calf. Ain't no way old boy captioned this tattoo saying. This is what happens when you demasculate men. When you tell men that they're all bad. Toxic masculinity, patriarchy. This is what happens, bro. You have these guys tattooing random bitches on their body. These girls who don't like you, by the way. These girls who, they're only there for the money. And the only reason why she hasn't blocked you or filed a restraining order on you is because you make her money. That's why I find OnlyFans shameless. That's why I find all of this shameless. People find it controversial. Oh, you don't support sex work? Yeah, I don't support it. Because it's nothing but demonic and wicked. So why would I support wickedness? You know? But I don't know, bro. Bro, I wonder if he has a friend group. He has to have a friend. Because, or maybe he, sh- he doesn't. Because I don't know how you can see your homie get a tattoo of a random girl, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on this girl. Like, and not get bullied by this friend. Because that's what real homies do. You slap each other in the head and say, what the heck are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? A number one spender. Talking about he was number one. <laughs> now, do you guys see why I say he is the most down bad individual of all time when it comes to this simp shit? Dude, spend some of that money you got on therapy. You got some serious shit to work out in your head. And don't think that he is the only one out there who is like this. This is merely one of the cogs in this massive up parasocial machine the internet has created he just happens to be the creep with the big wallet i mean just look at the girl from the dr phil show who recently revealed that she made hundreds of millions of dollars from that website the day she turned 18 years old some people really just need to get the hell off the internet and go outside meet a real person have a real connection because if you're to the point where you were sending any oh crap this guy i really think he just needs a haircut maybe take off the glasses i feel like that's all he needs unlike the other guy that would need to lose a lot of weight uh, here's the thing what I got to say with a bunch of lonely guys, honestly, and this is what I got to tell you. Do not focus on women. Here's my number one advice I can tell to a lot of young men. Do not focus on women. I know, right? I know with men, we love women. We love women. Right? They call us misogynists, but we love women. But the thing is, the thing you have to do, right? Is you have to avoid women before you make your money, before you find right with God, before you do all the things you need to do. Because the thing is, in this world, you're not owed anything. You have to earn it. 
You have to earn what you have. If you want a good woman, you have to earn that. Because no woman's going to get you because you're some random Discord mod. You don't make any money. You're in your parents' basement. And you're doing nothing besides giving all the money you have to these random bitches. That ain't going to help you in the long run. It ain't going to help you even in the short run. So my number one advice I can say to any young man watching this that's paying for OnlyFans, that feels desperate, that feels lost, focus on yourself. If you're in college, focus on getting your degree. If you're if you have a job, focus on getting higher up the scale. And then off off the time when you're not doing those things, try to find a side hustle. Try to find something on the side that can make you money. Maybe you're you don't have enough money. Try to find a way where maybe there's another job opportunity that would get you money. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Find something. And honestly, if you're a young man out there like this guy, the number one thing I would do, because this guy doesn't look overweight. Like, he looks like he has a bit of a belly. This guy, who probably is lost, probably doesn't have much purpose in his life, go to the military. Go to the military. Number one thing I can tell a young man who feels desperate like this, go to the military. They discipline you. They'll teach you that there's bigger priorities than women out there. There's so much they can teach you there. Do that instead. Because giving money to these women ain't helping you at all. There's no benefit. That's why, to me, OnlyFans is degenerate. Anyone who supports OnlyFans, to me, needs serious help. Needs incredible help. And to me, this right here is... You, I, I, there's so many millions of other things I'd rather do than talk to this random girl who only wants me for my money, doesn't even want to make physical contact with me, bro. There's so much more I'd rather do then be right here for no reason. And the same applies to that fat dude. What are you doing? You're not going to get a wife from her. You really think she's going to drop her entire career? She's clearly making loads of money off these desperate men. Do you really think she's going to drop her career so that she can date a guy who looks like this and clearly has no self-respect? Because I'll go back to the thing I said about the OnlyFans girl. If she can't respect her father, if she can't respect God, then how is she going to respect me? The same applies the other way around. If you can't respect yourself as a man, then how are you going to respect her? That's what I got to say about that whole thing. But Any of your money to someone who will never even truly care that you exist outside of taking you for a ride, you are living wrong. For these women, you really better watch out. You never know who is truly behind that other phone or computer screen funding your lifestyle. But I do wish the best for her. To be honest, I would have replied with my cash app to at least get that 400k. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's it for that part. I mean, I, I to me, this is just... To me, it's just like... I guess I can't speak on it because I, I don't know what it feels like to be this guy. To be desperate and rich to where I'm giving money to an OnlyFans broad like this. But I just never seen the positive. I've never seen the advantage to it. I've never seen anything besides this girl looks attractive. Let me give her money so maybe she can talk to me. Do, 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 you know, this feels like something a middle schooler would do. Oh, my God. That girl touched me on my shoulder. Such so impressive. It's like, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know. And here's the thing. Men, you need to stop caring for women. Not until you wife her up. Then that's when you care. But other than that, these random girls, they're all going to break your heart. They're all going to break your heart to some form of capacity. But that's okay. Because you as a man need to build yourself up before you can find that wife. You need to make money. You need to find something where you can at least stand up and say, I'm a good man. I respect myself. That's what you got to do. That's what you have to do as a man. And if you're not doing that right now, then what are you waiting for? And that's my serious advice to everyone watching this.